Since I just made a video talking about some of the changes coming to Microsoft's Copilot, renaming the Edge browser, uh, Copilot button coming to your keyboard, I thought it would be fun to take a look at some of the little tidbits of news surfacing about Google's sort of uh, version of this type of thing, which is Bard, or more specifically, Google Assistant with Bard. And this is kind of going to be like a two-part video, because there's a couple of small stories that probably wouldn't warrant a full video. Together, perhaps they will. So, first news story comes from Android Headlines. This is what Google Assistant with Bard could look like. For those that do not know, Google Assistant is obviously that very useful thing that some phones you can hold your power button and say some stuff and it will answer questions or turn on your lights, so forth and so on. But they're going to be integrating this with uh, Google's Bard technology. Maybe you haven't seen Bard? If you go to bard.google.com, if you are opted into this, I think it's still experimental as it says here, so I think you have to like opt into it. You basically have access to a very intelligent AI and I actually have been using this thing all the time. And I'll, I'll give you a good example here. I just asked it to make me a table showing the specs of the OnePlus Open, and it should pretty quickly generate this table here. Now, it's added images, which I don't actually want. So I'm going to say remove the images, and it should remove those images and represent this table to me, and there you go. So that's pretty darn cool, right? Like, this is a really... <laughs> Really useful tool. And what's going to happen is they're going to be building that into Google Assistant. Now, this sh should be coming first to the Pixel 8 devices and hopefully coming to other devices later on. But we have some leaks here about exactly what that might look like once it occurs. So if we scroll down here, we have this image and it shows the little Assistant pop-up, which does look fairly similar to what we are used to seeing, right? A little bit different. Mine's in dark mode, so slightly different. You can see an option for keyboard to speak or to search with a photo, but you see the little stars up there, those little star icons. Well, those are the icons for Bard. I don't think it should, there we go. Those are the icons for Bards. That's indicating that, yes, indeed, Bard is doing something here. Here on the actual Google search page, you have search, but then also a little thing to toggle into a barred mode. So here's a really cool one. Add an image to your prompt, and then you can see assistant with the barred AI logo up there. So this is like, you know, not just using this AI to ask questions like you just saw me do to have it make things, but actually using imagery to do these searches as well. If we jump over to 9 to 5 Google, I'll link to this one down below as well. This is the original source of this stuff, actually. You can see here that they switch over to this Assistant with Bard tab. Really, really cool. And then in this one, they're inserting an image and then asking it to tell them what is in the image. So this is that other step I'm talking about. You know, you're going to be able to not just search for an image, but search within an image. What is this picture and get information from that? And even more simplistically than that, you're all familiar with using Assistant to ask questions like what's the weather and things like that. So that stuff's all going to be happening, but apparently it's going to be augmented by Bard. So the answers should get even more intelligent, much more intelligent than they have ever been in the past. By and large, it's still going to just sound like Google Assistant, I would imagine, like it's going to have that voice talking back to you. But it's not going to be the same old Google Assistant. They are going to be underpinning the current Google Assistant with a much more intelligent AI. And this could be a really, really massive improvement. One more thing I want to quickly talk about here. This Twitter user dug into another APK and they were able to discover something kind of interesting. References to something called Bard Advanced, which references some things here. Try Bard Advanced for three months on us, which does indicate that after three months it will be a paid thing. They are speculating Google One will get you Bard Advanced. Now, I'm already a Google One subscriber because it gives you a bunch more storage for your uh, Google Photos, Google Drive. It gives you the Google One VPN, which is actually very useful as well. So if that's just kind of rolled into Google One, that's absolutely fine with me. I don't know what this advanced version of Bard is, but 
that is definitely something to keep in mind. The articles I've seen don't really go in depth as to what this Bard Advanced is. Apparently it's being tested by some users already. Perhaps it's something that's integrating their Gemini stuff. Maybe it's just a, a better, even more advanced version of Bard. Hard to say, but it may be part of your Google One subscription going forward. I think all of this stuff is really, really interesting where I'm sort of lukewarm on the co-pilot stuff. The Bard stuff is much more exciting to me because very, very soon, I think it's going to be part of Google Assistant, which is something that I used to use a lot more, use a lot less now because it seems like it's getting dumber and dumber. But if it's right there in my Google app, in Google Assistant, and I can just do the things I've been doing with the Bard website directly there, that's going to be a big game changer for me in terms of just a workflow, getting things done, gathering information, so forth and so on, uh, even uh, summarizing web pages, just all sorts of things. It's going to be very, very useful. Guys, let me know what you think, though, in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.